We're going to Giant. What's up guys? Welcome back. Going back out on the ice. It's been a couple days. I'd actually hurt my back pretty bad. Pinched a nerve in my neck and uh, screwed me right up. One day it was one side, the next day it was the other side. And today I had plans. So I woke up and it was great. Good to go. So I just made my drive to my spot. It's a new moon today. Uh, overcast and it's like plus two. So like trifecta. It should be amazing. So we're heading out right now onto the ice. We're gonna walk out. Uh, we got a little bit of a walk to do. Set up, pop the tents, get all the rods in, lines. Uh, I got some new rods to test. Those Laker rods came in and I got my custom rod on the way. So I'll have that this week. But in the meantime, we're gonna test those 40 inch Laker rods and uh, let's get out there. See you guys soon. Too old, dying. Here comes Alex, he's dying too. We only we haven't even done a kilometer. Got like maybe 300 yards left. <sighs> How is it going? Pretty good. I know me. <laughs> We're almost there, guys. So we got out finally. Long, long, long walk. And we've got like five discs in now. I just wanted to go over and show you guys how I'm setting them up. So I found my piece of structure. I'll show you guys the map on Navionics. It's like outlined and you can see the pink is the shallow area and the blue is the deeper area. And uh, we're concentrating on the edge of that shallow to deep area. So we've drilled our perimeter of what we want to fish with our holes. We arrive at our holes. I have my sonar and my sway. I drop my sonar in. Check my depth, eight and a half feet, which is perfect. We know that all around us is around 12 to 14. So take my rig. I never want to put it too low because these fish, muskie and pike, walleye too, can only see above them. So usually when these muskie are feeding, they're very close to the, uh, when they're not feeding and lazy, they're very close to the bottom. But when they actually get in a feed mode, they're coming up three, four, five feet off the bottom to find those schools of minnows. So here in eight feet of water, I'm probably gonna put it down. Oh, I don't know. We have a couple at four, a couple at five. So like five feet down, got my musky leader and then my nitro rig there. Again, we're using pretty big baits. I got some mixed dead baits here suckers and mackerel so we'll put a mackerel on this one they're about uh, 10 inches i'd say and now i'd like to take a couple scales away put a hook right before the head because these fish are eating these baits head first and then my second hook just a little wrapped up here opposite side by the tail so now when these fish hit these baits they're hitting them sideways they're gonna unroll the spool a bit, stop at a resting place, grab that bait and position it frontwards to eat. As soon as they have it frontwards, they're gonna take off again. Once they're taking off, that's your shot where you hit them. Because you know that they have the bait positioned, at least the front hook is in their mouth, and when they're going away, you have a really good chance of turning that hook and catching them perfect in the corner of the mouth. So we have 10 inch holes. I like to use a stick, one, stick to mark my hole for all the skidoers around and another stick so that the disc doesn't go through the hole because with these 10 inch holes the discs can actually fall right down in there so I put a stick and it prevents that there's never going to be really tension on the spool that can pull that stick or break that stick because it's free spool once that flag pops up and that's the game plan we have like six lines in we got like 15 to go or no we got like 12 to go and then our jigging holes, our tent, and uh, we'll get back to you guys. Well, we just put this slag down. And we got a fish. 
He was unrolling it. He stopped now, which is a good sign. He's still there. He's taking line. We're gonna hit him here. We're gonna hit him right now. As soon as he tightens this up. He's eating it, I can feel it. Come on, just move away a little bit more. That's a muskie. That's a muskie for sure, dude. Nice. Well, that didn't take long, man. All of like five minutes of after setting that line. Well, we just got that fish. I actually adopted a carping technique today from one of my good friends, Matt, that catches big pike in the States. And he uses his carping mat to help protect the fish. So you can put your fish down on there, do your own hooking. You can flop around, he's not getting hurt. I think it's a great thing that I can adopt for keeping the fish safe. And there she is, beauty like 40 incher. We're gonna get her back quick. That didn't take long, seven flying in. Beauty musky. Should go back, she's pretty girthy. There she goes, she's getting ready. See you later, baby. Yes, way to go, man. All right, let's get the rest of the lines in and see if we can get another one. Well, set up. It's 11.30, took like two hours to set up. We did get that fish though. It was a nice like low 40, yeah, low 40, probably 40 inch right on the nose. Nice, healthy, girthy fish. Uh, we had the mat, took care of them, slipped them back, took off nice and healthy. Uh, so be sure to subscribe for that one. Big thumbs up, help out the channel. Hoping the channel is helping out you guys. Like I said, gonna get a lot more informative now. Um, explain a little bit more what I'm doing. Uh, went over the discs this morning go over a little bit of jigging later today and uh, Like I said new moon today, so I'm hoping it's just the start. Uh, I have a couple buddies that are on the ice today <clears throat> and he caught uh, One of my buddies caught a real giant a 51 and uh, low 40 as well So the muskies are definitely biting and we're hoping that we can get one jigging I got these Laker rods that I'm using now These heavy Laker rods 40 inch uh, but I don't know. I don't know if they're gonna work. We're gonna see. If I hook into a fish, it might snap in half. But it's a chance we're gonna take. We got the tranks on there, so the line's gonna hold up. That's all that matters. We're gonna get back to jigging. Hopefully come back to you guys soon with a fish. Well, little update. It's like four o'clock now. We packed up our musky jigging tent camera and we moved out to jig a little bit of walleye and a little bit deeper water. And uh, Alex has had two perch. Uh, we didn't have the cameras going because we knew they were smaller marks, but we finally got a walleye. So Alex got this one. Good little like 15 incher. We're gonna keep that one for supper and uh, hopefully get a few more. Way to go, bud. Hopefully that's just the start. Yeah, man. Leg was up, just came to pick up lines. Let's see what we got. He's about to start moving away here. in the pliers. I 
It's got a big lamprey on them. So I was picking up the lines. We got a giant. So we got him unhooked. We're gonna get a bump. She's a tanker though. Okay, let's get a bump. Mouth closed. 48. 48. So there she is. What a super slob, man. Beauty. Let's get her back. She gave a pretty good fight. I imagine she's gonna go pretty quick too. She's got a good girth. Make sure she's good and strong here. Look at that belly, dude. Bye bye. Sick! My hands are so frozen! We're going to Giant. My blood, not his. Warm a little bit. <sighs> one by one. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Yeah. It's a good hurt though, it's a good hurt. That's why I just keep telling myself, it's so worth it. Nice one. Oh man. 48. Yeah. <sighs> that's close our day. Hey? That's, that's a good hand of our day. Dude, amazing end of the day? Oh. And a 48 inches. Like, what can we have more? What a good day. I can't believe we finished with another fish. Yeah. A jumbo, a jumbo too. A, that was a nice one. Yeah. Like, he was fat as f Like, that was 25 plus pounds for yeah. sure. For sure. What a day. All right, let's go. Get the flock out of here. Look at my little house on the prairie. Well, just got home. I picked up a coffee on the way. It's like 6.30 and uh, got home just in time because curfew's at eight o'clock here in Quebec now with the COVID. Uh, we can't be on the roads from uh, 8 p.m. till 5 a.m. So doesn't affect me really any I can still get away at a good time in the morning to go fishing and get back at a good time to enjoy uh, the rest of the night and see my family so just got home crazy day uh, new moon got that fish setting up like five discs in and then that super girthy 48 fish uh, 22 and a half inch girth um, packing up so along with some walleye and some beauty perch uh, all in all, great day. New moon's still going on tomorrow, so I'm heading back out, exact same spot. Uh, I expect that it's going to be nothing short of what today was. So I'm hoping to see a couple more big fish. And uh, thanks again, guys, for checking it out. Um, you guys are making a huge difference on the channel, so don't stop. Keep sharing, liking, subscribed if you haven't subscribed. I still see that there's like 70% of people that watch the videos are not subscribed. So just takes one second, guys. Helps out the channel in a big, big way. And uh, you guys are watching the videos anyways. Lots of musky content to come. Just keeps you informed and lets you know when every video drops. So thanks again, guys, for this week's video. Checking it out. And until uh, next week, more musky on the way.
See you guys then. Giant.